Position, Arena. I won't miss. <laughs> Arena's attack hit. Keep pushing them. Get ready. Get ready. Ah, cover. Get ready. Nice one, Arena. Hit him hard. Oh, fire. <laughs> No 
no mercy. All right. My turn. Show me what you've got. I'll show no mercy. Here I go. My turn. That settles the matter. Now, for this second so-called key. Look, over there. Oh, that's a weird looking box. Oh, I remember learning about this in history class. Uh, something in the Edo period? It's a suggestion box. Basically, it's a way to collect people's complaints and requests anonymously. Although, this one appears to be empty. Think this will jog any memories, Toshiro? I can't say for sure, but if it's the same as last time... Yep, you called it. I pulled an all-nighter on a mock exam. Ah, <sighs> hundreds exams might be important, but that doesn't change the fact that they suck. Overnight cramming is actually counterproductive. Sleep is necessary for committing what you've learned to memory. You might make it by cramming for regular tests, but comprehensive ones like entrance exams require long-term memory for any chance. Oh good, I can get some shut-eye during this lecture. I don't give you lectures, I give you advice which you clearly need. If anything, I should lecture you on how to take advice properly. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I noticed earlier, the suggestion box has been awfully empty lately. If I had to guess, I'd say it's because we've taken care of everything by now. You're going to... Run yourself ragged if you're always looking for trouble to clean up, Aerie. You're saying I should turn a blind eye to people in need? That'll run me even more ragged. <sighs> Please, try putting yourself in my shoes for once. Can't you just enjoy the peace and quiet as the fruits of your labor? I sure hope you're right. But something's still bugging me. Isn't the vibe at school kinda... weird now? Weird? Come in! Hi. Uh, someone said that you guys hear out people in trouble? Yep, whatever it is, you can lay it on your future prime minister here. Don't say such ridiculous things. How come? One day you'll be a diet member and then you'll make prime minister, yeah? Hmm, I've never said anything of the sort. What? You don't remember your speech? I'll never take favors from my father. I'll stand on my own two feet. I've definitely never said that. You must do the worst impression I've ever seen. Huh? Objection, Your Honor. Wait, is that a prime minister or a judge? Um... Oh, sorry, sorry. Here, grab a seat and hit us with the deets. Vice Principal Nakabachi's been blackmailing students and staff here? <sighs> I was such an idiot. 
I thought my chances at college, my whole life, would be over if the school found out I'd been working at a nightclub. And when Nakabachi stumbled onto your secret, he proposed a deal to keep you off the hook. He ordered you to dig up dirt on other students and report back to him, correct? Then he'd use that information to pressure them into bringing him even more dirt on other people. He just kept creating more and more victims until eventually he even had the teachers under his thumb. There's no way to tell who's working for Nakabachi, so I didn't know who to trust with this. And it's all my fault. I did something so stupid just to pay my tuition. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry for melting down. Sound like that. So, um, now what? <sighs> Thank you for telling us. I know it wasn't easy. This is a pretty huge issue, so it's gonna take some time, but we'll handle it. I don't care what happens to me anymore. So please, I'm begging you, please! <laughs> Nakabachi was hired here very recently, but he was promoted to vice principal right away. It may have been unexpected, but nobody would guess this was how he pulled it off. Any student here would be terrified to lose their college prospects. It's no wonder how he was able to exploit that. <sighs> That's just sick. How could he use people and torture them like that? It sounds like the entire school's in a bizarre standoff, what with everyone spying on each other for Nakabachi. This certainly explains why you felt something off here. That said, this is clearly beyond the scope of what the student council can handle. If we make one wrong move, we could be done for ourselves. What's your take, Aerie? Uh, Aerie? Ah, oh, God! I am so pissed right now! I don't care how badly Nakabachi wants to be in charge. He has no right to put Yuri through that kind of hell. I thought schools and the staff were supposed to protect students, but not this messed up place. The way he's running this school now, it's like his own little dictatorship or something. He's done for if he's really doing this. Toshiro, you've got to help me. I thought you'd say as much. From the sounds of things, you're looking to assemble a full-on rebellion. Toshiro, that's exactly it. We'll start a rebellion. Oh, great idea. Please don't take my jokes at face value. At any rate, we're going to investigate this. I have to know the truth. That's right. Nakabachi. Ichiro Nakabachi. He was just a run-of-the-mill music teacher who got promoted to vice principal out of the blue. After hearing Yuri's story, Harry and I went around the school investigating. Turning up leads wasn't easy, but Harry was persistent enough that we eventually had a grasp of the situation. Simply put, the results were jaw-dropping. Sexual harassment, embezzlement, extortion, other abuses of power, all of it being covered up by the administration. And to top it all off, Nakabachi had been promised a promotion to principal. He essentially had full reign of the school. Ugh. Another turd for a teacher. The world's a big place. Big enough for plenty of pieces of shit to run their schools. To blackmail his own student. I can't imagine how Yuri felt at the time. But Nakabachi had covered his tracks. So ultimately, we weren't able to collect any conclusive evidence. Without concrete proof, we had to put our hopes on the victim's testimonies. What is it? Did they testify? I'm sorry. I can't remember the rest. Well, you certainly learned enough this time around to put one question to bed. I'd wager that the ruler of this kingdom is Vice Principal Nakabachi. And I bet you're right. Now, let's wrap this up so we can get out of here already. Well, at least we've got an idea of who might be running this place. Plus the second key to boot. 
Let's go back to the hideout so we can hammer out our next steps. Actually... That's right. Sounds good. I should write that down. Thank you. 
We're back with the second key. Next up's the third one. The third one already? That's even further from here. It's somewhere within the faculty room. Somewhere within, huh? The faculty room, huh? Uh, can I maybe skip out on this one? I wonder why, Ryuji. Maybe it's all the chewing out from your teachers? I doubt anyone has good memories of that place. No reason to be there, except getting chewed out. Um, I don't know if that's entirely true. So far, we've been sent to the courtyard, the cafeteria, and now the faculty room. No. I'm sure there's a connection with my memories, but I still haven't come up with anything else. However, I do feel like we're getting close. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find out more once we secure whatever's in the faculty room. Let's move out. My memory may be vague, but I can still guide you there. The faculty room should be just ahead of here. Walking all over this school's a pain, but I guess it still beats getting wrapped up in some other drama. Yes. It's nice how it seems we won't be attacked while merely walking around the school. Whatever's on the other side of the doors is definitely a different situation, though. What's up with that, anyway? Furthermore, there's another matter I don't understand. Despite our assumptions about this kingdom, we've been attacked by creatures more closely resembling students than teachers. What could be the cause of that? Is there even a reason? wonder, though. Did Nakabachi ever force the students to fight each other? Whatever the reason, it's obvious that we're still facing a lot of unknown factors. Let's just hurry up and catch the next episode of Toshiro's Put Upon Adventure! A <laughs> school tale where Toshiro's whipped, huh? I'd like to learn the ending. Whipped? <laughs> ending? <laughs> mind if we moved on? <laughs> yes. Sorry. But that natsuhara san really is straight as an arrow, isn't she? She was genuinely concerned for that girl, and never had second thoughts about helping her. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, Harry was actually somewhat similar to you all. Really? She was a fervent believer in justice. She always had a very strong sense of empathy. Remember how, when we first met, I said I had a less than favorable opinion of the Phantom Thieves? Well, I'm fairly certain I was just envious of your ability to accomplish what I never could. I'd like to take back what I said. I'm sorry. Eh, no sweat. When you're outcasts like us, you gotta learn how to let stuff slide. Although Ryuji's grades have slid a bit too far. Oh, shut up! I I'm just a complicated guy, is all. Besides, there's nothing to apologize for. You're an adult, and a politician to boot. Not everything we do is condonable to everyone. We certainly always have that in mind. Understood. I'll remember that. Arena, I owe you an apology as well. How should I put this? Don't worry about it. I think I already know. Kind of. Let's keep moving for now. We can talk more later. Right. Well, let's be off. Lead the way. I think we found the faculty room. All right, you legionnaire losers! Get your asses out here so I can kick them! You're making it sound like we're raiding the place. <laughs> Classy, Ryuji. Wait, you want me to bow first? If we can make him freak before we fight him, we should do it. Oh, I gotcha. I'm pretty sure a door like that means they're not hearing anything we say on the other side. Do you think they can even understand us? We know what to expect on the other side. Let's do this! That's 
shit, dipshits. We're coming for you now. Yeah, dipshits. You're gonna regret making us come in there. Like I said, let's do this. Before Ryuji's potty mouth rubs off on Arena any worse. Here I go! Time to get KO! 
You'll get no mercy! Time to use my persona! I'm ready. 
I'll do my best. You should be safe there, Noir. Hold my power. Oh! 
Persona! Now's the time! Persona! On that, the Phantom Thieves showed you what's up. With that out of the way, where's that key? Woo, over there. It's a letter? No, not just any letter. The front says it's a letter of challenge. That's the third key. Look at the weight of the brush strokes. Whoever wrote this meant business. That looks like... No. It's probably best to see what happened first. Is everyone ready? Here it comes. Perhaps one of you would care to explain the meaning of this letter. How about you, Kasukabe? It was scrawled so furiously, I was barely able to read it. A letter of challenge? Senpai, did you really write this? I know I left it to you to call him out, but this is pretty hokey. And you even included our names? What's wrong with that? We needed to confront him face to face. Honestly, it would have been better to go yell at him in the faculty room. Calling him into this empty music room was to show him the slightest amount of mercy. Hmm. Here I was, wondering what the blazes this could be about. You really wanted an in-person confrontation? You tricked me here with some baseless accusations. Now you expect me to actually apologize for them? An apology's not going to cut it. You're going to confess your crimes and turn yourself into the police. <laughs> Surely you're jesting. You won't be talking your way out of this. A whole list of students shared the truth with us. A list of students, you say? I don't know who'd spout such lies, but I can assure you this nonsense won't prove a thing. It isn't nonsense! We only found out because someone came to us for help. Do you have a name of this someone? And what evidence do you have to corroborate their story? Now, hypothetically speaking, let's say you're correct. Just how many people do you see here backing you two up? Your theory's riddled with flaws, wouldn't you say? For example, if there are as many victims as you claim, why hasn't a single one come forth? That's because you... you've screwed them all over! Senpai, please don't touch him! Laying a hand on him would give him just what he wants. Ah, Kasukabe, my boy. Good to know you still see reason. That must be your father's doing. I, for one, hope Representative Kasukabe has a long and fruitful career. Uh. Well, 
Let's end this discussion here. No matter how much of a fit you may pitch, no one is going to take your side. Not unless every single one of your so-called list of students steps forward. Ah, but that's quite the unless, isn't it? Best of luck there. <laughs> We're not done here! Eri, don't chase him! That bastard! Cackling like some kind of kids show villain! He certainly seems confident. He's forced each victim into a position where betraying him means self-ruin. Fear is certainly an effective method of control. Though not just their fear. I've gotten the sense that some people even expected perks from Nakabachi for obeying him. <sighs> we can raise all the fuss we like, but if the victims have no intention of accusing him... I don't care. He's still wrong. And what's gonna happen? Everyone's just supposed to let him get away with it? Does everyone really need to come forth? If so, we'll try persuading them again by... Tell me, Senpai. Why do you care so much? I know just how much you value honesty and how you can't stand injustice, but... Uh, it's not about caring. I just do what I do because I want to. <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I can tell you. You see, back at my last school, one of my classmates framed me for some theft, and everyone ended up shunning me. It was over something stupid. I, I can't remember if it was a notebook or some perfume, but something was stolen. How awful. I'm sure there were some folks who thought I was a nuisance, considering my personality. But in the end, even my closest friends all left me. At the time, I was more shocked than angry, so I kept my mouth shut and just tried to deal with it. After a while, my homeroom teacher noticed I'd been acting differently, so she reached out to me. I didn't want to stir things up, so I told her to leave me alone. But then she told me, silence in the face of injustice is complicity. If your gut tells you something's wrong, why not fight back, she asked. That was the push I needed to change my attitude. I've fought back ever since. I got all kinds of people involved. I asked around school for leads, I searched for the stolen stuff myself. And with that teacher's help, I was able to prove my innocence. That said, the whole mess drew a lot of negative attention, so I still wound up transferring. Ah, so that's why you transferred here at such an odd time. Honestly, I think the reason I get so worked up is because I'm actually a coward at heart. You? A coward? If we lived in the kind of world where corruption was free to flourish, it'd feel like everything I fought for was a waste. There'd be no reason to take a stand for what's right. That's the reality I'm afraid of. I simply can't allow it. No matter your reasoning, I think it's admirable. You're simply following your own sense of justice. Admittedly, that doesn't apply to what I do. <laughs> well, thanks. But I think you're wrong about yourself. The first time I ever saw you was pretty telling. I knew you're someone who does the right thing. Considering their numbers, you were really putting your life on the line there. Oh, that old story. I keep telling you, I just felt like it. Still, was I ever glad to meet you here? <laughs> it was almost like meeting another me. <sighs> so, what's the next move? Nakabachi's not confessing, and I doubt any of his cronies will either. Gotta find something else. Toshiro, you're sure? You think I can just slink out of here after all you've said? Plus, I need to keep an eye on you if you decide to go loose cannon. Besides... That must be your father's doing. I, for one, hope Representative Kasukabe has a long and fruitful career. Hmm. You'll see. I'll show him what I can do. Hey! 
Hey, why is it already over? Oh, what a weak ending. Not even a preview of the next one? You guys do remember we're watching that guy's real life, right? So that's why. Whoa, it's weird when they sync up. What's the deal? <laughs> uh, maybe I've seen one too many of Toshiro's memories. But, yeah. Those things that Ari had said? If we lived in the kind of world where corruption was free to flourish, that's the reality I'm afraid of. I simply can't allow it. I have to say, I'm not sure how we may be related. I'm scared that we're entering a world where corruption is free to flourish. And even worse, I'm scared of becoming someone who's okay with that. But I can tell she has the same feelings that I've had for as long as I can remember. I must admit, the two of you have a very strong drive towards justice. At your own expense. Oh, you think so? In that case, I'm even more puzzled about the two of you now. I don't really know how to phrase it. But the more I think about how Toshiro's past may have some meaning for me, the more it's like... Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Let's just keep moving for now. The answer must be right around the corner. Right, Toshiro? Yeah, I'm right there with you. Our next move should be securing the location of the last key. Then let's shut up and get out of here. <sighs> I can't wait to curl up back at the hideout. We sure have a lot of choices. Until next time! Hmm. Right. But still. Really?
Not quite. Ready to go? I should write that down. 